Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand divide and conquer algorithm design technique. The concept of, in, the, in our previous classes, we, we have discussed some of the sorting algorithms. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, coming to this class, we will try to understand a design technique called divide and conquer. So, this is a uh, there are some algorithms which are developed based upon this design technique called divide and conquer and for this algorithm in order to design the algorithms based upon this technique we need to understand so these design techniques are developed based by using recursive algorithms so the concept of recursion has already been explained so based upon those recursion concept the this divide and conquer is based and how, what is this what is this technique and how this technique is going to solve the problems that we will try to understand for example if you have a problem there are some problems which can be solved by using this technique called divide and conquer so what is divide means so there are three steps the three steps that are going to be followed by this algorithm uh, by this algorithm design technique one is divide and the other one is conquer and the other one is combine first what it is going to do is if you have a problem that problem will be divided into sub problems so that problem will get divided into sub problems to a certain extent where that problem cannot be further divided okay so the small small pieces it, it is made the the entire big problem is made into small small pieces small small problems okay so the next step is conquer solve the sub problem first is divide this involves dividing the problem into smaller sub problems and the next one is conquer solve sub problems by calling recursively until solved so all those small small problems are solved so first we are going to divide and after dividing so those small small problems will get solved all the small problems will get solved that is what we call it as conquer that is the reason why uh, we call this technique as divide and conquer and the last step is combine so after solving the problems again combine all those small small pieces in the final attempt of combining so in the final step of combining we are going we are going to get the solution for the problem that we are having so how that is going to happen we'll try to understand there are different uh, uh, different algorithms which are designed based upon this divide and conquer so the following are the uh, some of the algorithms designed of based on divide and conquer technique so these are the problems that that can be that are solved by using di di divide and conquer method it is merge sort quick sort binary search and min and max problem so we're going to see each and every problem in detail in our later classes so these problems are designed based upon the, the point that you have to understand is uh, these problems are based upon the concept of the, the, these problems are the solutions for these problems are designed based upon the concept of divide and conquer so for better visualization what we will do is so how this divide and conquer will work for that visualization what we will do is so we will try to take a problem for example assume that this is the problem so whatever it may be so the, here we are having some problem and we are we are trying to find the solution for this problem by using divide and conquer how it works how it works is first it, first it is going to divide the problem so it is going to divide the problem into small small pieces it has made so this entire problem is made into uh, two pieces and again this problem will be made into another piece another two pieces in the same way this sub problem will also get divided into another two pieces and similarly this problem will get divided further so it till what level it will get divided till the level where that small problem cannot be further divided so to that certain limit to that limit the problem will get divided next what we will do is these sub problems will get solved these sub problems will get solved okay so the smallest possible problems for example if you are having these problems or the smallest problem smallest possible problems we are going to find the solution for these smallest problems and after finding the solutions we are going to combine them so that combination is done by using recursion 
so the concept of recursion you should be well versed with the concept of recursion and uh, while solving the problems while while understanding the problems we will explain those concepts in detail but for the visualization this is how the divide and conquer will work so this kind of visualization you should have in your in your mind because this this visualization will help you how the solutions how we are getting the solutions for these problems okay because these are the problems which are uh, which are developed based upon the concept of divide and conquer technique okay this, uh, this is all about divide and conquer algorithm design technique hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with our friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching